All right, in this problem, we're given that the length of a rectangular garden is three feet longer than the width. If the area of the garden is 40 square feet, find the length and width of the rectangle. So I already showed all my work in a, in a longer problem like this. I'm going to just, I'm just going to show, uh, show all my work and then I'll explain you through the steps. So I first drew a picture of the rectangle. It's, it's a really good way to visualize what's going on. Uh, we don't know the width or the length, but we do know that the length is three feet longer than the width. So just call the width x and the length x plus three. We know that the area is 40 feet squared. So just I just put 40 feet squared in our, the middle of the rectangle here. Now, you need to understand uh, this is a very important formula to memorize. You should, be, uh, you should be able to memorize it very easily. Area equals length times width. So we know that the area is 40. So we just plug in a 40 for a. And we know that the length times the width is going to be equal to x plus 3 times x. Now just distribute the x through both terms, and you get x squared plus 3x. So 40 equals x squared plus 3x. All right, so from here, um, uh, we're faced with a polynomial equation. And you should be familiar with how to solve a polynomial equation if you're doing these types of quadratic word problems. Um, you're just going to subtract 40 from both sides. And the reason for that is we're just, we need to set it equal to zero. You can't solve a polynomial equation by factoring without setting it equal to zero. That's going to be your important rule to remember. So that gives us zero equals x squared plus 3x minus 40. I kept the x squared term positive. That's why I didn't do it the other way around and move everything to the, um, to the left-hand side. Um, solving from here, we have to, we can factor the right side into the product of two binomials. So, you should be familiar with factoring also. If you're not, I'm just going to give you a quick review. If you have any questions at all, make sure to leave me a comment down below and I can answer it. But you're just going to set it up into the product of two binomials. Two terms multiplied together. Um, x squared breaks down into x times x. So we're going to use an x as the first position in each binomial. And the second position in each binomial, we're looking for the factors of our constant term, or in this case, our negative 40, that add to 3. So that's going to be positive 8 and negative 5. Um, now, uh, if two terms are multiplied together to equal 0, either one term or the other term must equal 0. It's called the zero products property. So just set each of the uh, equations to 0. So 0 equals x plus 8 or 0 equals x minus 5. Solving for x in each equation, we get negative 8 equals x or 5 equals x. Now, since the, uh, the, the length and the width of a rectangle can't be negative, Negative 8 will not be a solution. It's called an extraneous solution. It doesn't work. However, 5 does work. And if we plug a 5 in for our x and our length and our width, we get our uh, length is going to be 8 feet and our width is going to be uh, 5 feet. Actually, I got to edit that in the problem. I said width, not width. Uh, let me just edit that. Our width is going to be 5 feet. So that's going to be our answer for the problem.